this is Price Boss. And in this video, we're gonna bring it all together. You've collected your comps, you've uh, prepared them for analysis, and now we're at that final stage where we're gonna an analyze the comps and get you some very, very detailed and accurate pricing. So analyzing comps, let's get to it. This is your offer analysis tab in Price Boss. And you'll see that along this uh, left-hand side in column A, you've got a list of all the unique subdivisions or geographic uh, divisions that you've created uh, when you created your comps. And across the top, we've got these things called acre splits. Now, if you are using uh, Land Boss Lite, or uh, excuse me, Price Boss Lite, uh, these will not be available to you. Everything will show up in acre split one, and you'll be able to get offer prices by subdivision, uh, but not by acre split. If you're using Price Boss Pro, however, you will be able to create these acre splits and come up with even more detailed pricing. So, what I want to do right now is show you this scatter plot graph over here on the right. So, all your properties will show up here. Now, you, you can really uh, re get refined in your analysis. This low and high is showing you the low range of acreage and the high range of acreage, and then you can specify in this dropdown the specific um, subdivision you wanna look at. But right now, let's just look at all of them, and we're gonna look at zero to 1,000 uh, miles, um, uh, or excuse me, zero to 1,000 acres. Uh, so it's really showing us all the properties that we have in our analysis. And each one of those properties is represented in one of these blue dots. It may not look like you've got as many as you've got um, on your comp data page, showing we have 77 comps. Probably pretty close, but um, if you've got any comps that have the same acreage and uh, price per acre, they may be doubled up. This red line represents the trend line. Uh, and this is what we really want to see where possible is we want to see it to be as horizontal as we can. Now, the first thing we do when we look at all of the data, what we're trying to figure out is where are the price splits. Um, if you've done any business uh, or bought any properties in a county like Costilla County, Colorado, you'll know that many of the counties are five acres and then many of them are 40 acres. On a price per acre basis, the larger properties tend to be cheaper than the smaller properties. By that I mean that the price per acre for a small property in that case might be around uh, $200, whereas the price per acre on a 40 acre property might be $150. So we wanna figure out where are the appropriate splits with the data that you're working with and the counties you are working in. So I can see right here that there's kind of consistency. Well, before I get into that, uh, what I want to show you is that you can get rid of outliers in your data, things that are skewing the results. So if I click in here once, now I can just hover over any of these properties and I can see the acreage and the price per acre. So this is a 20 acre property at $677 per acre. Down here, I've got 20 for $50 an acre, and that certainly looks like an outlier. So if, to get rid of that outlier, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come back to my comp data page and I'm gonna sort by acres. And I'm gonna go down to $20 per acre and I can see right there, there's $50 for $20 an acre. So remember how we delete on this page. I'm just gonna select from column A to column F. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to delete cells, shift up. And it goes away, it'll go away in a second. And if I come back to my analysis, if I give it a moment, you can see over here it's working, um, it will go away. And now it's gone. I can do the same thing for this one down here. So I've got 78 acres at 336. So I can go up to 78, 336, there it is. And I'm going to delete it. And finally, uh, this one over here is kind of out in no man's land by itself. This is 78 acres at 2313. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that too. That's this one right here. 
And so this is how we're finally cleaning up our data so that we're use, doing analysis with just the right comps. And notice how as I take one of these, uh, remove one of these outliers, it adjusts my price per acre. It's basically saying that we're evaluating 74 comps and the average price per acre is 4,221. Um, there's one more I want to get rid of. This one up here looks like it's kind of out in no man's land. So that's 20 acres at 73.39. So let's go back 20 acres at um, 73.39 is right there. And I'm going to delete it. All right, that's the last one. All right, that looks pretty good. So what I can see here is that I've got kind of a similarity in price up to about six acres. Um, so let's go, and that, if I click on it, I think it's gonna say just six acres, right? So what I'm gonna do, that's my first acre split. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna put zero to six acres. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna start seeing comps show up. Enter. There we go, now the comps are there. And now to get to the next split, I don't wanna have six showing up in both because I'll get the same comps in both of these splits. So I'm gonna put 6.01 and I'm gonna go up to 10 because I'll just pick up some of these. And then over here, I'm gonna go from 10.01 up until really just about here. What's the last one here? There are, these are all 20, so 20, I see 0.40 acres. So I'm gonna go 10.01 to 20.40. And then the last one's gonna be up until the end. So I'm just gonna go 20.41 to, I just put a thousand here to capture everything else that's remaining. And there you have it. Now we've got pricing by subdivision by acre split. So very detailed pricing based upon a large number of comps. But in some cases, you know, it's really based on one comp. It really depends upon uh, how much you have in any individual subdivision or, uh, or, or geographic split. So let's say we want to do a slightly deeper analysis though. Over here in Goldendale, I've got 16 comps to develop this this price of 427 at zero to six. So I could go look at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here into my evaluation range. I'm gonna say zero acres to six acres, and then I'm gonna select Goldendale. So I just wanna see that data. And it's calculating. And this actually looks pretty good as, as it's coming up. I'm seeing the line looks fairly horizontal, but, um, and I could remove this comp and say that within, uh, oh, actually, so it's still calculating as it's all coming up. I could remove this comp down here and say that that looks pretty much like an outlier. Um, but if I did that, it's actually gonna raise my price. Um, I'm probably okay with this, but if I wanted to, I could go ahead and find that comp and, and delete it and say that that's, that's a bit of an outlier. Um, but I think we're probably okay. Uh, but that's how you can do it. That's how you can break in and see what's going on in just uh, this subdivision, this acreage split. I just put the acreage up here, and I select the subdivision I want, and I take a look at it. Uh, let's try one more. Let's do um, Goldendale at 10.01 to 2040. So I'm going to put 10.01 to 2040. Give it a moment to process, and there we have it. Um, again, I probably would just stick with it the way it is. Um, if I wanted to, you know, I could get rid of the, this high one and this low one and just kind of get more into the center uh, to hone in on the pricing, but I think that's probably okay. But uh, what I really want to show you is how you can set your parameters here in the evaluation range to create a, a scatter plot that's very specific to just one of these numbers. Uh, but if you wanna see everything, just set it to zero, put a thousand in here um, for a thousand acres and then select all and it will give you a scatter plot of the entire county. Um, one more thing I wanna show you, very important in this tab, is 
uh, you can set the discount you want for your prices. Because remember what I have over here in my comp data, this is the comp price per acre, but we need to convert that into an offer price per acre. So this number, enter your offer percentage. So up here in this yellow box says what you want your offers to be. At 20%, essentially what you're saying is, I want my offers to be 20 cents on the dollar. Let's say you wanted your prices to be 18 cents on the dollar. You can just type 18 and you do it once and it'll adjust all of these numbers so that they represent an offer of 18 cents on the dollar. We just have to wait for that uh, uh, processing to happen in the back end to do all that. And there we have it. Now we're at 18 cents on the dollar. And that's how you come up with very, very accurate pricing. So we're pricing by subdivision and by acre split so that everybody, and then once you do that, you're going to take this number and you're going to multiply it times the parcel size just for the properties that match Golden Dale between 6.01 and 10 acres. And you can do that using filters in your county master sheet. So that's how you do it. Get very accurate pricing. And let's go get some deals. Good luck.